watching on Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station. I know it says we're going to be playing Gauntlet, but I'm going to do a little something different. Uh, I have a game called Title Bout, which is a boxing strategy simulation game. And I am going to do the audio call of Primo Canera versus John L. Sullivan, a fantasy boxing matchup. So I'm just trying this out, and I thought this would be a great way to try it out. Anyway, here we go. John L. Sullivan reigned as heavyweight champion. He was the first heavyweight champion. From August 29th, 1885 to September 7th, 1892, he lost his title to James J. Corbett. So he never successfully defended his title. He was also a bare knuckles champion. His opponent... Primo Canera held the heavyweight championship from June 1933, June 20th, 1933 to June 14th, 1934, and he defended his title twice successfully. So, I've matched them up on my title bo boxing strategy simulation game, and this is how it went. The fight took place in Yankee Stadium, and um, I'm going to do the audio call. And so let's, a uh, little more background here. Uh, in Primo Canera's corner, I had his trainer as Al Serto and his cut man as Al Braverman. Um, Primo Canera stands 6'5 and a half, and for this bout weighed... A very strong looking 257 pounds. John L. Sullivan, the Boston Strong Boy, comes into this bout and he has Gil Clancy in his corner as the trainer and also as Cutman. And let me give you his statistics here. Bear with me a moment. Thank you. John L. Sullivan, 5'10 and a half. And his weight is 195 pounds. So he'll be giving away quite a bit of weight to Primo Canera. Um... Sullivan would be considered the harder puncher, even though they both have very uh, stellar knockout records. Um, John L. Sullivan's record was 38 wins, one defeat, and that was to James J. Corbett. And he also had one draw. Uh, and he had 32 KOs. Primo Canera record was 89 wins, 14 losses, and 72 KOs. In his 14 losses, he was KO'd five times. So they're both very good punchers, but I would give the edge to punching power to John L. Sullivan. And here we go. So I chose the venue of Yankee Stadium for this bout because it's a historical fantasy matchup, and I thought Yankee Stadium would be terrific. And here's the bell for round one. The referee, Ruby Goldstein, signals the fighters, and there's the bell. The fight starts. Right away, Sullivan is pressuring Carnera, into the corner. Canera retreats. Sullivan lands a wicked cross. Canera is stunned. Sullivan continues to try to pound the body in the head. Canera gets him in a clinch. Ruby Goldstein orders him to break. He's having a difficult time breaking them. And now they break. 
Sullivan continues to pressure Canera. Canera seems to be uh, looking to stay on the outside, and even though he's a slugger, looking to uh, box a bit. And continues to push off Sullivan as he tries to get inside and maul him. Sullivan lands consecutive shots to the body, and uh, Canera seems to be uh, stunned by that. And once again, Canera ties him up. On the break, Sullivan lands another solid right to the chin, and Canera looks dazed. Canera follows up with a left right combination. Another left right combination. Solid uppercut. Sullivan backs up. Canera keeping Sullivan away with his jab. Sullivan tries to get inside again, and Canera is pushing him away uh, with his strength, using his strength there, and Ruby Goldstein warns him to stop pushing. Both fighters are seeming to probe and look for an opening. Sullivan tries to throw an overhand right, and he misses. Canera again continues to peck away with his jab. He's landing pretty solid with that jab. Now lands with a solid cross. Sullivan is wobbled. Canera tries to follow up. But again, both fighters fall into a clinch. Ruby Goldstein separates both fighters. They again, out towards the middle of the ring. Canera probing with the jab. Probing with the jab. Sullivan feints a jab. Lands a solid right hook to the jaw. Canera is stunned. And there goes the bell. And that was a very close round. In Sullivan's corner, Gil Clancy is giving him words of encouragement. Telling him that he must get inside. And work over the big man. In Canera's corner, Al Serto is telling him to use his height and reach advantage and his strength. When Sullivan bulls his way inside to push him away, use the jab and hit him with the uppercut. Round two. Sullivan is off his stool quickly and goes to pressure Canera. But he's met by several jabs and a stinging right cross. Canera pushes Sullivan away. Sullivan again tries to bore inside. Canera lands a left hook to the body. That seems to momentarily stun Sullivan. Sullivan wings a left right, but Canera blocks them both. Canera scores a right hook to the body, a left hook to the body, and a right uppercut. Canera moves back towards the center of the ring. Sullivan follows. Sullivan smothers his way inside. Canera clinches. Goldstein orders him the break. Both men are hitting on the clinch. Finally, they break. Canera continues to lab, land a stiff left jab. He's looking very strong with that jab tonight, which is keeping Sullivan at bay and at distance. And that's what Al Serto in his corner wants him to do. The jab, he's backing up Sullivan now with the jab. Pushes him off. Throws a combination. Nothing of any effect, really. They're just scoring points there for Canera. Sullivan darts in with a quick left-right hard combination. Canera looks hurt. He looks stunned. Canera feints a jab. Throws a hook, but misses. And they fall into a clinch. Ruby Goldstein again orders in the break as they continue to punch each other in the clinch. Both fighters break, and there's the bell for the end of round two. Another close round. Both fighters are receiving encouragement from their corners. And there's a start of round three. Sullivan again presses forward with the attack. 
He's trying to bull his way inside. Canary continues to shove him off and use the jab to keep him at distance. Sullivan looks to land a wild uppercut, but he misses. Canera counters with a right hand. Sullivan is just cannot find the range with his punches as Canera continues to frustrate him with left jabs and then pushing him off, keeping him at distance. Ruby Goldstein warns Canera once again for pushing. Sullivan now bulls his way inside on Canera and presses him to the ropes. Lands a couple of body shots, but to very little effect. They were caught mostly on the arms. Both fighters continue to maul each other on the ropes. Ruby Goldstein orders them to break. On the break, Sullivan misses a wild hook. Goldstein warns him not to punch on the break. Sullivan again presses forward. but cannot find the range as Canera continues to peck away with his left jab. And they fall again into a, a clinch and fighting at close quarters where Canera is really using his strength. Sullivan's a strong man, but at his weight compared to the weight of Primo Canera, which is 260 pounds, it's, it's, he's going to get worn out with these tactics. They once again break... Canera, one jab, two jabs, three jabs. Takes a little step back and boom! Big cross on Sullivan. Sullivan is in trouble. Canera tries to follow up. It's late in the round here. Canera is trying to follow up. Sullivan looks out on his feet. And there goes the bell. And that's the end of round three. Uh, I believe that is the first round I can clearly say uh, that Canera has won. The other two rounds were very close. This round... You can clearly say went to Primo Canera. Canera's corner is very excited about their fighter in round three. Gil Clancy is telling John L. Sullivan in his corner that he has to get inside and he has to let his hands go. He has to get his punches off. And here's the beginning of round four. John L. Sullivan, like the previous rounds, comes out quickly to press the attack. But is met by Canera. Powerful combination. A left jab, and Sullivan walks into a right uppercut. Sullivan is staggered into the ropes. He's struggling to, re to remain upright. Canera is trying to follow up. Sullivan's able to grab him. Canera lands a couple of quick rabbit punches and is warned by Ruby Goldstein to stop the rabbit punching. They break. Sullivan, looking to land, lands a couple of body shots. But again, Canera smothers him, pushes him off. Jab, jab, jab. Canera just continues to pump that jab into Sullivan's face. And that's going to start to cause some damage, as you can see some swelling right now on Sullivan's right eye. Another jab. Boom! Big right cross. Again, Sullivan is hurt. Canera pushes him back to the ropes and tries to follow up. He's just not able to find that one more clean punch that can put Sullivan away. Left, right to the body, a right uppercut that grazes Sullivan. Sullivan is trying to hold on. Canera continues to push him away, trying to pin him against the ropes. Sullivan lands a looping overhand right, but it just grazed Canera. Canera... Opens up with another combination, but the, he cannot find the, the big punch. He, he's just a little off target. They again fall into a clinch and start mauling each other. Oh, that looks like a headbutt. Looks like Canera butted Sullivan there. Goldstein warns them about clashing of the heads. They break. Once again, they fall into a clinch, and Canera lands a wicked kidney punch. Goldstein didn't really see that, but he tells him not to punch on the break. Canera has Sullivan trapped in the corner late in round four. Oh, he misses with a huge uppercut. If he landed with that, that would have been good night to John L. Sullivan. 
Sullivan fires back, lands a quick combination, and there goes the bell. End of round four. Another very good round for Primo Canera. There seems to be some concern now in the Sullivan corner with some swelling around the right eye and cheek. As that uh, Canera jab has been doing a job on John L. Sullivan. In Canera's corner, Al Cerdo continues to exhort his fighter to keep up the good work, to keep Sullivan on the outside, to use the jab and catch him to come in as he's coming in with a right uppercut. Here's the start of round five. As always, Sullivan rushes out, and this time he has success getting on the inside, and he pins Canera into the corner. Sullivan lands a couple of uh, left hooks to the body, but misses with an overhand right. He flicks a jab at Canera as Canera pushes him away. Canera has found his distance once again and continues to pump his left jab into Sullivan's face. One, two, three, snapping Sullivan's head back. Canera's keeping that proper distance. Sullivan is frustrated. You can see the frustration. Sullivan's trying to get low and underneath the jab, but he's he's just not finding that success as every time he tries to dip, Canera's pushing him away. Canera continues to hit him with the jab. Both fighters in our flat foot in the center of the ring. Sullivan has overhand right that just missed Canera. The height difference and reach difference is really bothering uh, Sullivan. Had that landed, that could have been a game changer. Canera finds his distance once again. Left, right, and right uppercut. Sullivan is stunned. Stunned. Canera tries to follow up. Sullivan grabs him around the waist. And referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to break. Sullivan looking to try to find the distance. Trying to find the distance. Faints a jab. Solid overhand right. Lands on Canera. Canera is stunned. Sullivan with a flurry of punches. He senses he has an opportunity here. Left, right, left. Canera is stunned, trying to fend him off. Back to the ropes. Sullivan, a left to the body, a right to the head. A left to the body, another left to the body. A solid right hook. Canera is pinned on the ropes. Sullivan flailing away, sensing his opportunity for victory. Can he do it? There's not much time left in the round. And there goes the bell. End of round five. That was a big John L. Sullivan round. Sullivan goes back to his corner, and Gil Clancy is extremely happy with what his fighter has done. Canera still looks stunned as he as he goes back to his corner, and Al Cerdo is giving him some advice. And they, once again, they continue to harp on Canera to keep your distance, keep your distance, use your jab, push him away. When he dips down, hit him with the uppercut. There's the bell for round six. Primo Canera looks like he, he's regained his legs a bit as he comes out for round six. Sullivan um, was a little more cautious this round. Did not rush out at him. As they're both trying... They're measuring each other right now. Pong with their jabs. Sullivan's trying to just... I, I don't know if he's trying to uh, sucker Canera, uh, Canera in to try to catch him coming in. Him being the smaller man, he it looks like he's trying to uh, bait him in. But uh, Canera's not falling for that as now he starts pumping out the jab, finding his range. Again, he's just, it, it, it's like radar. He's hitting Sullivan over and over again with his jab. He's really working that. Sullivan now starts to try to come forward. He dips down and again, just pushing uh, Sullivan away, Canera does. Uh, Sullivan is able to get inside. Lands a couple of small shots to the body, but Canera ties him up and then pushes him away and hits him with a jab on the way out. Both men are circling. Sullivan again tries to pressure Canera. Canera 
a little one-two combination, then pushes Sullivan away to keep him off balance. So the tactic uh, Primo Canera is using is a jab, jab, a one-two, push him away, keep him off balance, and if he dips, uh, he's trying to land that big uppercut. That's how he knocked out Jack Sharkey to win the uh, heavyweight championship. Here comes Sullivan again. Pressure, 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 but really not landing anything of any uh, subsequence. Both fighters right now uh, mauling and brawling, but not landing anything of any consequence right now. Um... Uh, Canera, they break. Referee Goldstein breaks them. Canera again, pumping out the jab. And uh, Sullivan dips down and uh, boom, left hook. That's a big left hook. Canera immediately grabs and holds on to him, pushes him away. And now on the way out, Canera lands a combination and uh, pushes again. Now he starts to press the attack. Canera's pressing the attack, pushes him away. He, he feels that Sullivan was off balance, and he's trying to capitalize on it. Lands a, a, a jab and a grazing uppercut, as that's one of Canera's favorite punches uh, is the uppercut, the right uppercut. So, and again, they fall into a clinch. There's a lot of mauling, a, a, a lot of wrestling here right now. Um, Goldstein breaks them. Canera continues to uh, jab at Sullivan. And uh, tries to land a big uh, right hand, but he misses. Sullivan swings, and he misses. And there is the bell for the end of round six. Very close round. Very close round. Uh, that's a very close round here. As both fighters go back to their corners. The the jab is, is really starting to do a job on uh, John L. Sullivan. As his right eye is swelling continues to swell and they're working on it but that could be a tremendous hindrance going forward um, they're very happy in the Canera corner but they, they, they feel they, they want him to be aggressive but they want him to be smart uh, smart aggression uh, they still want him to stay on the outside they're telling him use the jab one Sullivan dips push him away and try to hit hit him with that uppercut. Round seven begins. Canera and Sullivan square off at right in the center of the ring. Sullivan has been told to put the pressure on. Um, they want him to do uh, more pressure. I mean, he has been putting the pressure on, but he just has not been uh, effective with it. Uh, he's a much smaller man than Primo Canera. As Canera pecks away with a jab, jab again. He's a much smaller man than Primo Canera. And uh, Canera is using his size and reach advantage uh, very well tonight. He's very effective with his jab. And uh, Sullivan tries to again dip down. But he cannot, right now he's not landing anything of consequence. Um, Canera is keeping at bay with the jab. But he, right now he's just basically jabbing, fainting the right, fainting the right. Uh, Canera uh, jab, Sullivan faints. Dip, boom! Right hand, right hand by Sullivan. Canera's a bit staggered. He, he's, his legs have gone to jelly. Uh, Sullivan's trying to follow up, but the one, uh, Primo is able to once again grab onto him. Primo Canera is a very strong human being. He grabs onto him. And he's able to nullify uh, the Sullivan attack right there. And he was hurt. Canera was hurt there. And Goldstein, Ruby referee Ruby Goldstein, orders them to break. Again, orders them to break. And they finally break out of the clinch. But Canera still looks shaken. He still looks shaken right here. Um, Sullivan, again, has a moment here. If he, can, if he can follow up. And he's trying to follow up. He continues to press the attack. But Canera continues to, to, to just push him away. And use that jab just to, to keep Sullivan out of a rhythm. Sullivan cannot get into a rhythm. Um, and and he's just keeping him out of that rhythm. Uh, Canera faints a jab, lands a solid right cross. Solid right cross. And now Sullivan is reeling on the ropes. Canera tries to follow up again. Uh, but he, he's inaccurate with his follow-up punches. He, tr he tries to land one uppercut, two uppercuts, as he's holding uh, Sullivan and trying to, to hit him with the right uppercut. But he's not landing anything good. Canera ban bangs two body punches left and right. And those are pretty effective. Uh, Sullivan tries to hold on to Canera's arms. And, and, and Canera scores again with, with a short... Uh, looks like it was like a... 
short uppercut hook. And there goes the bell. And, and, and at the bell, Sullivan is in tremendous trouble right there. Tremendous trouble. At the Canera, from what was a close round and possibly a Sullivan round in the last 45 seconds, Canera poured it on on the ropes and uh, won that round quite uh, big at the end. A lot of concern by Gil Clancy and John L. Sullivan's corner about his fighter and the condition of his fighter as the swelling continues, as they continue to work on that swelling to try to reduce it. Um, more praise. And 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 uh, for Canera by Al Cerdo, um, but they still say st they're, they're stressing to Canera stick with the game plan of staying outside, using the jab, and frustrating Sullivan. Sullivan has not um, it, been able to. I mean, he has landed here and there some solid punches, but the follow-ups he has not been able to land. So we move on to round eight, and there goes the bell. Sullivan's very cautious. I, I think he's still feeling the effects of the last round. He has not come out aggressively. Um, they're just, again... Canera just continues to peck away with the jab. Uh, he has a tremendous reach advantage over Sullivan. And he's just... It, even when it grazes Sullivan, and it, it just continues to putting that... Uh, increasing the swelling around that eye. Um, the corner... Uh, Sullivan's corner is yelling to, to, to press the attack, get on the inside... He, Sullivan has to get in the range. I mean, it's a double-edged sword. If he stays on the outside, he is going to be beaten to death by the jab and possibly the right cross. He, but yet, if he gets on the inside and he doesn't do it effectively enough, Canera will hit him with that uppercut. So Sullivan, I mean, Canera's keeping him at bay. Sullivan dips left, right to the body. Solid left to the head, right to the head of Canera. Canera is backing up. Sullivan is very effective right now. Very effective. Lands another left to the body, and Canera grabs. Canera grabs him by the shoulders and the head, and uh, referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to break. The fighters separate. Now Ruby Goldstein halts the action and admonishes both fighters, saying, Enough with the clinching and the wrestling. And he orders them to fight. Sullivan dips down and uh, lands a solid body shot. and But misses with the hook to the head. But that body shot seems to daze, uh, daze Canera as he, as he just he's backing up. He seems hurt to the body. Sullivan now has Canera cornered. Sullivan sensing an opportunity here. But Primo Canera is able to uh, uh, push him away. He continues to push him away. Sullivan tries to launch an overhand right, but it, it mostly blocked and barely grazes Canera. Sullivan dips down, and Canera pushes him away. But as he pushes him away, he lands a tremendous right uppercut. Sullivan is staggered. Staggered. He's backing away. Canera presses the attack, but cannot follow up with anything else. And the bell sounds. Ruby Goldstein jumps in for no further action. That was a close round there. That was a very close round. The swelling on Sullivan's eye continues to worsen. Canera is not marked. Um, facially is still in good condition. Still seems strong. Sullivan is starting to... Uh, um, signs of fatigue here. As uh, Canera's size and strength and John L. Sullivan is a strong man he's not called the Boston strong boy for nothing but it's just such a size discrepancy um, in height and weight and it, it, it just and Canera's jab is very good tonight but Canera also knows how to use his weight and height advantage and he, he's just that will also wear on a fighter round nine and there's the bell for round nine. Sullivan rushes out this time. He hasn't rushed out in the in the last couple of rounds. He rushes out at him as he, as they've told him, you've got to change uh, the momentum of this fight. A um, lot of close rounds, but the rounds that have been more decisive have been uh, Canera's round. Sullivan did have uh, a, a tremendous round 
a few rounds ago when he staggered Canera at the bell. So here we go, round nine action. Sullivan, uh, like I said, is pressing the fight. But he's not able to get any punches off. He's just being frustrated uh, by the Canera jab. And just, you know, he if he gets in that range and Canera doesn't feel ready to punch, he just pushes him away. Um, again, the jab, Sullivan's trying to get underneath the jab. But he, he's just having a lot of difficulty getting on the inside, getting in his punching range where he needs to be to land his big punches. Canera is doing an excellent job of frustrating Canera. Uh, I'm sorry, Sullivan this round once again. And now he starts landing the jab. One, two. Oh, that was a solid jab. And Canera starts to back, uh, back up Sullivan for, the, for one of the first times in this fight. Um, Sullivan's in the corner. Canera is starting to, to land to the body and the head. Sullivan's trying to, to, to bob and weave and grab on, but Canera's having none of it. Canera lands another solid shot to the body. A grazing right to the head. Pushes him again up against the corner. Tries to throw an uppercut, but he misses. Sullivan grabs onto one of Canera's arms. Both fighters fall into a clinch. Referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to break, and they break. And as they break, you can see that the, the, the swelling, there's some major swelling uh, under and over that right eye of um, John L. Sullivan. That's going to be a major concern in his corner. And there, and Canera sees it too, and they're, and they're screaming from his corner to work the jab, to pump it into that right eye, to close it. And uh, that's what Canera's trying to do. Um, Sullivan uh, gets on the inside but immediately clinches as he, he just seems like he's wearing down now. Goldstein uh, orders in the break. They break. Sullivan dips. Misses with a left uppercut but lands an overhand right. Lands an overhand right and uh, Canera is staggered. Big punch. Very big punch. Sullivan's rushing in to try to, uh, the, he senses an opportunity here. He, he, he's looking to, uh, really press the attack here. He's rushing in, and what a shot Canera lands. Right uppercut, and Sullivan slumps to the campus. Goldstein begins the count. One, two, three, and the bell sounds, saving John L. Sullivan. As you can be saved by the bell in this fight. Oh my. I don't know if he would have beaten the 10 count. Bad luck there for Primo Canera. I mean Sullivan had. It seemed like. Well Sullivan did have Canera hurt. Was pressing forward. For an advantage. And then Canera caught him. Coming in with a tremendous right uppercut. That just dropped John L. Sullivan. And had it not been. At the end of the round. John L. Sullivan might not have made it through. The ninth round. They are working feverishly on John L. Sullivan in his corner to try to revive him and get some sense back into him. And that swelling is not going to help him as he, he's not going to see those punches coming. Um, in Canera's corner, they are happy, but they're worried that, that he's he got caught with a really big punch. And um, they again want him to keep his distance and stick with... The, the strategy that they trained with, stay on the outside, use your jab, use your height and reach advantage, and catch him with the uppercut, as he did it with the knockdown. So that was a big Canera round right there. We're getting ready for the start of round 10. Both fighters get off their stool. Sullivan still looks a little shaky. And here goes the bell for round 10. Um... Sullivan is not pressing the fight right now. He, he's he's just pawing. And they're both in the center of the ring. Canera continues to use his jab. Putting it in uh, Sullivan's face. Using it as a range finder. Keeping him away. Sullivan starts to back up slightly. But now goes left to right. And uh, now he starts to try to pressure. Uh, but he's getting peppered by, by the jabs. Canera's jabs is really on tonight. And uh, 
jab, and he comes with that little cross that really does. I mean, it, it's not a hard. His be, Canera's best punch is the uppercut, but that that right cross of his is doing enough damage, and uh, along with the the jab, that it's giving uh, Sullivan tremendous trouble as he tries to force his way in. And and, and he's just getting hit with these. Uh, I hate to say little combinations. I mean, Canera uh, is uh, a big man. But he's getting hit with these one twos, and, and then you know the le the left, the right, and then again pop with the jab again, and he just again and, and Canera is really just keeping that distance this round. Sullivan hasn't landed anything, and, and we're at the uh, midway point of this round. Um, Sullivan is extremely frustrated. Canera, uh, th there it is again, left right, and then pop again with the jab on the way out. Um, and then he just pushes him. He's keeping the Boston Strong Boy at bay. And the swelling around Sullivan's eye is getting worse and worse. And you can see the frustration in Sullivan as he has landed some big shots. Has had a few opportunities, but Canera's been able to smother those opportunities and comes right back. Canera is in total control of this round using his jab. Lands another little, uh, another cross. No, I mean, these are not heavy. I mean, he's a big man, so they are damaging blows, but they're not knockout blows. But uh, he's just really control. This is a beautiful round for Primo Canera. Totally controlling this round with his height and reach advantage. And there's the bell. So that was a really, really good round here. Uh, round 10. As he, as he really dominated that round just with his jab, you know. Um, and Sullivan is just frustrated going back to his corner. He's having trouble seeing. He just goes back to his corner. And he slouches down on his stool. Gil Clancy trying to revive him, trying to pep him up. Uh, Canera goes back to his corner. His corner is very happy. That's what they want you to do. That's what they're telling him to do. You got to do that, Primo, and this fight will be yours. And here we go into round 11. Sullivan comes off the stool. He's trying to press the fight. Met with a wicked left-right combination. Another left-right combination. A right uppercut and down goes Sullivan. Goldstein starts the count. One, two, three, four. Sullivan trying to rise. Five, six, seven. Sullivan is up at the count of eight. And he is very hurt. Canera is following up. Sullivan grabs on to him. He actually grabs him by the waist and the leg. And is holding on for dear life. Um... Goldstein trying desperately to break them. Finally, they break. Canera continues to apply the pressure. Another left-right combination. Sullivan backs to the ropes. Slides off the ropes as Canera misses with a wild uppercut. Canera wants to end it now. Here in round 11. Continues to press Sullivan. A, a right to the body. Misses again with a right uppercut. A grazing left. Sullivan grabs on. Canera pushes him off. Canera lands a left, right, left. Right to the body. Grazing right uppercut. Another grazing right uppercut. Pushes him off. Misses with the right uppercut. He's just really trying to load up on that right uppercut. He's trying to end this fight right here and now. Sullivan throws a wild overhand right, but Canera blocks it. This is all Canera in round 11. Again, the fighters are at distance. Canera, jab, jab. Right cross just falls short. Left hook to the body lands for uh, Canera. Sullivan is taking a beating this round, but he's somehow still standing. 25 seconds ago, Canera is still trying to follow up, land, land the, the, those final punches that could end this fight here in the 11th. And there's the bell. Huge round for Primo Canera. He has taken total control of this fight. Sullivan is in very bad shape. The eye is uh, a tremendous hindrance with the swelling. Canera is really starting to land some very solid punches. And it, now it's not just his size and weight advantage and, and the ability to keep 
Sullivan off balance. It's he's starting to land some solid hard punches. Uh, there's a, a, a lot of um, joy in Canera's corner. They're sensing their man's on their way to victory, but with that joy, they continue to caution. Sullivan is a big puncher, very big puncher, to stay with the strategy. The fight can be won. They're telling him, stay with the strategy, use your jab, and stay on the outside. And we're on to round 12. The bell sounds. And Sullivan is really just in bad shape. I mean, that's that, he, that swelling. He has a, a... Oh, it's horrible. A, there is practically, from this uh, announcer's standpoint, very little vision out of that right eye. And now he has some swelling under the left eye, too. And uh, Canera is he's like a, uh, a telephone pole jab here as he just... One, two, three, three straight jabs. And, and, and Sullivan is continually just, he's keeping him at the end of that jab. And, and right now, Canera is just, they, he's really working on that jab. Building up the points, building up the points. Uh, and Sullivan cannot get in that punching range. Um, and now they fall into a clinch. And Goldstein orders them to get out of the clinch. And Sullivan continues to stay in the clinch. And now Goldstein forces them out of the clinch. Um, Canera. There's the jab. Wild right uppercut by Canera. He misses. Sullivan capitalizes with a solid right counter. That stuns Canera for the moment. But Canera grabs on to the fading John L. Sullivan. And basically has neutralized Sullivan's attack for the moment. Goldstein orders them to break as they wrestle with one another. And again, Canera finds his distance. Lands one jab, misses with the next one, misses with the right cross, pushes Sullivan away. Sullivan lands a left and a right to the head. Some of the sting is gone out of Sullivan's punches. Sullivan's now trying to jab his way in, but to no success. Canera pushes him away. Sullivan again tries to dip down and jab his way in. Canera lands a good, solid left uh, hook uppercut to the body that, that just stops Sullivan in his tracks. And Sullivan grabs on to Canera. Goldstein orders them to break. They break. More of a uh, Canera pushes him away. Um, again, both fighters trying to find a range. And Canera uh, seems to now Canera seems to he wants to press the attack, as he's uh, about 35 seconds left in the round. Canera wants to press the attack. Jab, he pushes Sullivan back. Sullivan bounces off the ropes. Tremendous overhand right. Canera stunned, and there's the bell. Wow, bad luck for John L. Sullivan right there. Bad luck. Um, wow, as Sullivan landed, Canera pushed him to the ropes. Uh, close to the end of that round, and and Sullivan came off the ropes with a tremendous overhand right, uh, and nailed Canera right on the jaw, and literally the bell sounded three, four, five seconds later. Uh, it, it just it happened so quick. Uh, just some bad luck there uh, for John L. Sullivan. Um, as Canera went staggering back to his corner, they actually came out to get him. That was a tremendous right, right uppercut, and that's what Al Cerdo was telling um, Primo Canera in the corner to stay with the plan. Do not press the attack. The knockout will come. It will come. You've not, you've knocked him down twice already. You have control of this fight, and and, and Canera, sensing something, sensing Sullivan weakening, came out to press the at attack more at, um, as the round went on there. In round 12. And towards the end of the round. He felt like he had him. And he, he pushed him back. He missed with an uppercut. And Sullivan just tremendous counter right. Overhand right. That staggered and stunned Primo Canera. Uh, I believe uh, Gil, Can Gil Clancy in Sullivan's corner is telling him. That they, they think he needs a knockout. Uh, we're going into the championship rounds now. Um, 
13, 14, and 15, but they feel that uh, they're sensing that Canera has a strong enough lead that uh, either Sullivan has to knock him out or, or at least knock him down a couple of times to get back in this fight. Al Cerdo in Primo Canera's corner is, is concerned, is trying to get it through to Canera as they're, as they're trying to um, revive him, you know. That was a tremendous right hand he took to to stay on the outside, use your jab, push him away, and use your uppercut when he comes in. Do not throw the uppercut from the outside because it, it does leave you wide open. Um, and, and it was a perfect example. Canera had pushed him away, was trying to press the attack late in that round. Um, he's sensing uh, John L. Sullivan's fatigue. And uh, he threw a wild uppercut from too far of a distance. And as he threw it, he came in. And Sullivan, with a tremendous counter in right hand, hurt Canera. As we get set for round 13, Sullivan has a little energy in him. And he, and he, he rushes out to try to press the attack. Um, but Canera immediately smothers him. And referee Ruby Goldstein orders them to break. And they break. And now they're at distance, and Canera, one jab, two jab, three jabs, pushes uh, Sullivan away. Once again, repeating, one, two, two jabs, pushes uh, uh, Sullivan away. Sullivan's trying to press the attack. And uh, uh, again, Sullivan tries to jab his way in, and Canera just pushes him away. Uh, misses with the jab there, though. Uh, Canera tries to... Uh, Landed left, right, but misses. And uh, Sullivan tries to, to to bowl his way in, but he cannot do it. He's very frustrated. And uh, uh, they fall into a clinch uh, for a moment, but Canera pushes him away. Uh, Sullivan tries to jump right back in, but he's caught with a hard right cross by Primo Canera. Sullivan's in big trouble. Big trouble here in round 13. Canera trying to follow up uh, left to the body. Uh, misses with a right to the head, pushes him away. Sullivan back up against the ropes. Uh, Canera grazes him with that uppercut. If he had caught that clean, then that would have been the end of that fight. Uh, Sullivan trying to hold on. Canera pushing him away. Um, Canera tr lands a small body punch. Sullivan misses with, with an attempt at a left hook that Canera is now smothering Sullivan up against the ropes. But they're just too close to land anything really effective uh, but but primo's really using his weight and, and and on the way out left right as as he broke left right he hit him with a left right and now there is blood blood from the right eye of john l sullivan and uh uh canera tries to once again jump in on the attack as as they want him to be cautious but but this is an opportunity for primo canera to end this fight right here in the 13th um, left, another left, misses with that left. He, he's really trying to work that jab once again as the blood's going into Sullivan's eye. Uh, Canera lands a right, a left to the body. Sullivan misses with a wild uppercut. Canera again pushes Sullivan into the back against the rope. Sullivan slides into the neutral corner. Canera lands a left-right combination. And uh, Sullivan tries to grab on. Canera pushes him away. Sullivan lands a left to the head, but there's not much power left on Sullivan's punches. Uh, Canera pushes him away. Sullivan jumps back in but doesn't land anything and is caught with a crushing right cross. Sullivan's knees buckled and he holds on. He holds on as the bell sounds. A huge round for Primo Canera here in the 13th. As Sullivan goes back to his corner, if I'm in their corner and John L. Sullivan's corner, they got to think about stopping this fight. Their, their, their fighter is very much taking a beating now. He is... I don't know how much he can see out of that right eye, and now he has blood. They're working on that cut and the, and also the uh, swelling there. But that is a tremendous hindrance. And uh, now over in the Canera corner, the Canera cano uh, excuse me, the Canera corner, they are sensing victory. And uh, Al Cerdo is telling him, stay with the plan. If the knockout comes, it comes. But now they feel he has a tr uh, has built up a tremendous lead. And uh, they don't want him to cruise, but they want him to stay with the plan. They have told him to pick up the pace of his jabs, to continue to jab. And do not... They're, they're sensing that Canera really wants to knock out John L. Sullivan, and they're, and they're stressing to him, we want you to use the uppercut, but what they're saying is, use it um, if Sullivan's coming in. Catch him coming in. Don't throw it from the outside. 
because he, uh, you have been caught. Canera has been caught on, on on three occasions when he's throwing the uppercut from the outside. And Canera is a big, strong man, and they say use your strength. Canera still looks in in tremendous condition. Uh, he has worn Sullivan down. Sullivan is battered. He's worn down. His punching power is gone. Um, he can muster. Uh, it's it's going to be very tough for John L. Sullivan um, to knock out Primo Canera the way things are going. But John L. Sullivan is a big puncher, a strong man himself. And that's why this is boxing. You never know what's going to happen. We get set for the beginning of round 14. Sullivan is very slow off of his stool. And uh, Canera meets him past the halfway point of the ring and pops two quick jabs into his face. And Sullivan quickly tries to grab on. Canera pushes him away, hits him with another jab, misses with the right cross. Wow. If he hit him with that, I think it would have been good night, Irene. Um, Sullivan is trying to, trying to get on the inside, but he's just getting hit with the jab over and over again. Um... And Canera, his hand speed is not as bad as people think. Sullivan is just missing. Sullivan is not landing anything. And he's getting hit with the jab and the crosses. And I, there's a good body punch by Canera. Very good body punch. Sullivan can now is starting to back up. And uh, Canera is a little more cautious. He is heating... Uh, what his corner said, uh, what Al Cerro said, he's not really uh, jumping on him. He, he's just using the jab and uh, trying. Oh, he missed with that. He just missed with that right cross. The jab actually hit Sullivan so square on that it, it knocked him out of range of the right cross. It just grazed him again. And uh, and uh, Canera just pushes him away, pushes him away. Uppercut to the body, a right uppercut, uh, and... and Sullivan grabs on. That swelling in blood is... Uh, he's a mess. He is a mess. He can't see. And uh, the referee breaks them. And hold on a second. They have called a stoppage in time. Ordering Canera to a neutral corner. And they're taking John L. Sullivan over. To let the doctor take a look at that swelling in the cut here. Um, the, they, there's about, uh, minute 15 left in this round. The clock has stopped. The doctor is looking at it. Uh, Sullivan is, is stressing he wants to continue on. Um, and the doctor is going to let it continue on. The doctor is going to let it continue on. Okay. And there's a little urgency now. Well, there is urgency, but now Sullivan's trying to um, press the attack as he's summoning up all of, his, all of his strength and energy for what looks to be one final push. And um, no, he, he falls into a clinch as he, as he tried to rush Canera and he fell into a clinch. And uh, Canera pushes him away and lands a tremendous uppercut. Sullivan staggers back. Canera presses the attack. Um... Pumping the jab, missed with the right hand, left to the body. Um, Sullivan holds on, will not let go. He is holding on to that to, to, to Canera's ar left arm, and Ruby Goldstein breaks them. 25 seconds left to go here in the round. Canera pumps one jab, right cross, bell sounds. End of round 14. Another big round for Primo Canera. Sullivan is back in his corner. They're telling him you need a knockout to win. Honestly, they should think about stopping this fight um, as opposed to letting their fighter go out for another possibly three, meeting, three more minutes of a beating or a possible knockout. But Sullivan's a very proud man and uh, has never quit. So it's just my opinion uh, watching this from ringside. Al Cerdo is telling Primo Canera in his corner, stay on the outside. He's going to come at you. He's going to throw everything he has left at you to knock you out. Stay on the outside. Use your jab. And when he's on the inside, push him away or clinch. Canera nods his head. 
and understanding. And we're right about... There's a little delay here with Sullivan's cornerman getting out of the ring. What's going on? What's going... No, it was just a delay of them getting out of the ring. I don't know if they're trying to buy... John, and Ruby Goldstein is upset with Gil Clancy. And now they're getting out of the ring. So this round, they, Sullivan had slightly more time. Uh, I don't know if that's going to help him. And here's the start of round 15. Wow, that's swelling. I, I know they've tried hard in, in, in uh, Sullivan's corner, but that right eye and right side of his face is a mess. Um, Sullivan quickly rushes out, throws an overhand right, very little effect, but pulls Canera back. Wow. But Canera quickly, quickly uh, grabs him, spins him in the corner, and lands a solid uppercut to the stomach and Sullivan it's all what what air he had left what life he had left I, I believe just drained out of him as Canera just oh my that was a tremendous body punch Canera pumps away and actually probably could have followed up but but gets distance and pumps the jab in his face Canera is just pummeling uh Sullivan at will from the outside now and and, and now he, it looks like he could press forward and, and take him out, possibly. But he is following Al Cerdo's instructions to the T and just jab, jab, jab. And, and Sullivan backing up as he is being hit by one jab after another jab, losing his his, his distance and, and backing up. But Kinnair is very cautious, moving forward behind the jab. He's not even throwing his right cross. He just continues to put the jab out there, sensing that he has a fight won. He possibly could knock him out, but, but he's following what Al Cerdo said. Do not press the attack. There's the right cross. There's the right cross. Sullivan's legs buckle. But will Canera have enough time to finish him? Sullivan grabs on. They fall into a clinch. There's a struggle in the clinch. Oh, that eye is a mess. Ruby Goldstein breaks. He's looking at the eye. There's about a minute left in this fight. Sullivan, oh, another jab. Oh, Sullivan has not landed much of anything in this round. Oh, left hook just missed. Wow, that's the really first time Canera really threw a left hook as he's been basically sticking with the, the jab, the right cross, and the right uppercut. He has thrown some good left hooks to the body, but that was a left hook to the head, and if he had hit that one, uh, that was good night, Irene, for John Sullivan. Left-right combination by Canera. Sullivan backs to the ropes. Sullivan is very hurt. Oh, wow. And there is the bell ending the fight. That is it, folks. 15 rounds as both fighters hug. And now their corners come out to get them and bring them back. Well, that was... A pretty good fight. That was a good fight. There was some clinching and mauling, but that's what's to be expected in a Primo Canera or even a John L. Sullivan fight. There's some big punches. Both fighters staggered each other at times. Canera, Canera did take control of the fight uh, midway through or just before midway through the fight. Canera did. There were two knockdowns. Canera scored two knockdowns in the fight. Uh... In round 11 was the second knockdown. Uh, Sullivan beat the count, was up at 8. But the one that was really, 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 um, it could have been all over. It could have been all over. And that was in round 9 as Canera landed a vicious uppercut. And it was the bell that saved him. Um, the bell saved him um, as the count stopped at three. Or I don't think he would have made it up for the ten count. So we're uh, referee Ruby Goldstein is um, collecting the scorecards now, and there's a lot of buzz around ringside. The fans did enjoy this fight here at Yankee Stadium. Um, so let's find out what happens here. As Johnny Addy, the ring announcer, is waiting for the microphone to announce the victor. Primo Canera 
and Al Cerdo in his corner and Al Braverman are very confident that they have won. Um, you can see the dejection on John L. Sullivan's face. And let's see. All right, we're ready for the decision here. Referee Robert Bird scores the fight. 148 Canera 135 Sullivan Judge Emil Conforti scores the fight 147 Canera 135 Sullivan Canera is the winner by unanimous decision, as Judge David Greer scores the bout, 148 Canera, 135 John L. Sullivan. So, a lopsided unanimous decision for Primo Canera. All three judges having a large points win for Primo Canera. Uh, but it was an entertaining fight, I have to say. Um, let's just go over some of the stats real quickly before we leave. Um, let's look here at the, uh, computer stats. Canera scored two knockdowns, as I stated, and Canera really worked the jab. Um, he, he was working the jab a lot. That was one of his, uh, that was his best, uh, punch. Uh, his power punch was the uppercut. Um, that's what really would, would, uh, hurt Sullivan. Again, the cross, not too many hooks. Um, here for Canera, Sullivan really never got his jab. And Sullivan's not a jabber. It doesn't is not a fighter who throws a lot of jabs anyway. But he did try at times to jab his way in. Um, but he was really ineffective with most of his punches. He did land here and there with that with the big overhand rights. Uh, and he did stagger Canera uh, on three occasions. Um, and there was that occasion where he caught him at the end of the round again. Bad luck for Sullivan, as he, Canero is very hurt. Um, so, this is what I'm talking about, how accurate Primo Canero was with the punches he did throw, which were mostly jabs. Punching accuracy for Primo Canero, 66.1%. Punching accuracy for John L. Sullivan. He was just never in a real rhythm. 13.3%. Now, there was a lot of mauling and bra brawling, uh, wrestling, I mean. And, uh, you know, both fighters were guilty of fouls. So, there was a, there was, it, was, it was a tough physical fight. And normally, that's the type of fight that John L. Sullivan likes and does well in. However, Primo Canera is 6'5 and a half, 260 pounds of muscle. And he was able to wear down John L. Sullivan. So there you have it, folks, from Yankee Stadium, a 15-round unanimous decision for Primo Canera over John L. Sullivan. Thank you for joining me in my inaugural fantasy boxing matchup. I appreciate it. And also, please check out Phil the Issues Guy. His podcast, he does wonderful reviews of TV shows such as Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, Vikings, The O.J. Simpson Trial, as well as movie reviews, and just great podcasts. He's very fun and entertaining. And also his co-host, Joe Dirty Locks, who does gaming on his site, and also does some reviews with Joe. As I said, he's his co-host. And also check out John C. Riley, the Couch Masters, on Twitch. And he also has some really wonderful podcasts. So thank you very much for joining me. This is Al Red Sox fan saying health and happiness to all and God bless. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye.